Ready for a different kind of distance? In South Dakota's open spaces, there's room to ride, stop, and explore. When you're ready to travel, great places are waiting. Learn more at TravelSouthDakota.com. Visit Hellsberg.com for safe and easy ways to shop this holiday, like free shipping and returns, virtual shopping appointments, or buy online and pick up in-store. And right now, get a free Microsoft Surface Go 2 with the purchase of $1,499 or more. You gift, you get. Limited time offer while supplies last. See online or in-store for details. Listen, the man is just about to say it. Yeah, let's everybody listen. The USA Radio Network presents the greatest radio programs of all time. Henry! Henry Aldrich! Coming, Mother. The CBS Radio Workshop, dedicated to man's imagination, the theater of the mind. This is classic radio theater. Want to get away from it all? The FBI in peace and war. Fibber, McGee, and Molly. Hey! The unexpected. The unexpected. The unexpected. Now here's your host, Wyatt Cox. Good evening, friend. Larry Thor stars in an episode of Broadway Is My Beat from 71 years ago, Christmas Eve, 1949, Nick Norman and Santa Claus. And we thank you for tuning in on this Sure Happy It's Thursday the 24th day of December, Christmas Eve, 359th day of the year. We have seven days left in this year. Akira Timati, also called Christmas Island, discovered by James Cook on this date in 1777. Silent Night was composed on this date in 1818 by Franz Javier Gruver, and we will have uh, the story of Silent Night entitled All is Bright, an episode of the CBS Radio Workshop that will air on Classic Christmas Radio Theater. I just mention that because uh, I enjoy that show. The Library of Congress burned on this date in 1851. In 1906, Reginald Feston transmitted the first radio broadcast consisting of a poetry reading, a violin solo, and a speech. Now think about it. You're on a ship, which is primarily where all of the radios were at the time, and it was all Morse code. And you're used to hearing that 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 over the headphones, because there weren't speakers at the time. In 1906, you're sitting there listening, and all at once... You hear a poetry reading and a violin. And you say, you, you turn to somebody else on the ship and say, you're not going to believe what I'm hearing here. Yeah, it was something totally new. Hong Kong fell to the Japanese Imperial Army on this date in 1941. General Eisenhower became the Supreme Allied Commander on this date in 1943. In 1968, the crew of the USS Pueblo released by North Korea after being held for 11 months on suspicion of spying. It was on this date in 1968, the crew of Apollo 8 entered into the orbit around the moon. The crew of Apollo 8 has a message that we would like to send to you. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth. Frank Borman aboard Apollo 8 on this date in 1968, becoming the first humans to orbit the moon on this date. Uh, the District of Columbia Home Rule Act passed on this date in 1973, allowing residents of Washington, D.C. to elect their own government. And in 2009, the Senate passed what would become known as Obamacare, 60 to 39 in the chamber's first Christmas Eve vote, since 1895. Among those passing away on this date, legendary actress Norma Talmadge, also uh, actor Peter Lawford, 
Norman Vincent Peale, the writer of The Power of Positive Thinking, the president of CBS from 1946 to 1971, Frank Stanton, actor Charles Durning, and actor Jack Klugman. This is the birthday to frontiersman Kit Carson, producer, inventor, and eccentric Howard Hughes, actress Ava Gardner, General George Patton, Iron Mike DiBiase, the father of the Million Dollar Man. Although, let me tell you, if you haven't seen Ted DiBiase before he went to the WWE, you don't really know how good a wrestler he really was. And also, singer Lee Dorsey, sitting on his yaya. Or was that what it was? I don't remember. From Slumdog Millionaire, Anil Kapoor is 69. Still living La Vida Loca is Ricky Martin at 49 years old. A TV host and radio host, Ryan Seacrest is 46. From True Blood, Michael Raymond James is 43. And One Direction singer Louis Tomlinson is 29. Those are a few of the people who celebrate the 24th day of December. Christmas Eve is their birthday. If this happens to be your birthday... Hi, we're the four freshmen, and we just want to say... Happy birthday to you! From 71 years ago, December 24, 1949, Larry Thor, starring in Broadway Is My Beat. I'm Wyatt Cox. Thanks for tuning in on this Thursday, Christmas Eve edition of Classic Radio Theater. Here's some great news. If you missed the deadline to sign up for health insurance, or more importantly, if you sign up for a plan that you're just not happy with, you still have a choice. It's called MediShare, and MediShare is a Christian healthcare sharing program It's been around for 25 years. They have more than 400,000 members now around the country. And get this, over the years, MediShare members have shared more than $2 billion of each other's medical bills, so they could help share your needs too. And best of all, you could save a lot of money with MediShare. The typical savings for a family is around 500 bucks a month. Your savings could be more or less, but think about what you could do with that extra money every month. So if you think you're stuck with a high-cost health plan that doesn't have much to offer, Think again. You can join MediShare anytime, so call them today and check it out. There's no pressure. They're super easy to talk to. 833-34-BIBLE. That's 833-34-BIBLE. 833-34-BIBLE. The best Christmas gift you can give somebody is the gift of a good night's sleep. And it can also save some, you know, some lettuce, some green. Michael and Ellen, the folks at MyPillow, got together a fantastic Christmas special for you. My Pillow Premium Pillows, the original. They don't go flat. You can wash them and dry them as many times as you want. They maintain their shape. They're made in the USA. And from now until Christmas, they're $40 off. Standard or queen size premium my pillow, $29.98. King size pillows, $5 more. The 60 day money back guarantee extended to March 1st, 2021. Still have the 10 year warranty. Go to mypillow.com, click on the radio listener square, use my promo code USA, and all sorts of of great deals there as well in addition to this amazing my pillow special you can also get the my pillow special by calling 1-800-951-8175 mike lindell says merry christmas balance of nature is fruits and vegetables in a capsule changing the world one life at a time since i've been taking it i can actually wear a pair of sandals Because the pain sometimes would be so bad, I would never wear a pair of sandals. Now, I could drive the car with sandals. My feet don't hurt me. I used to go to bed at night, and my feet used to keep me up all night long. No more. My feet haven't bothered me since I've been taking this. I could even walk barefoot, which I could never do before. I really feel great. I really, really do. I feel uh, like like I used to feel, you know? Get a wide variety of all your daily recommended servings of whole fruits and vegetables without having to leave your home. Right now, Balance of Nature is offering free shipping and 35% off on any new preferred order. Call 1-800-2468-751 or go to balanceofnature.com and use discount code USA. Thanks for joining us on this Christmas Eve edition of Classic Radio Theater. We go back to Christmas Eve, 1949, 71 years ago. Broadway is my beat. Broadway's my beat. From Times Square to Columbus Circle, the gaudiest, the most violent, the lonesomest mile in the world. 
Broadway's My Beat, with Larry Thor as Detective Danny Clover. Broadway. On Christmas Eve, Broadway's natives dance their Christmas dance to the music of carols flowing out of tinseled loudspeakers. The kids mash their noses against plate glass, lick it, and watch the mechanical clown, the mechanized tour army, the tin man dancing a jig on a tin box, and their eyes are dark with desire and hunger. They make a wish on a neon star. That's how it is on Christmas Eve on Broadway. My beat. On the morning of the day before Christmas, creatures are stirring at police headquarters. There's the patter of tired feet and the sound of manly giggles as little gifts are hidden in desk drawers or poured into Dixie cups or slipped under the police blotter. And in my office, there's a kid I knew, name of Marty Wednick. Danny, I don't like to disturb you at this unmentionable hour. Ten o'clock in the morning, unmentionable? You kidding? Sleep has not yet fled from my starry eyes. What makes me bounce from my pillow at an hour which is for the squares is a problem. What's your problem, Marty? Am I or am I not the child president of your branch of the Police Athletic League? You are. So I promised my constituency of fellow former delinquents a Santa Claus for Christmas. That's the problem. When are you going to give with a Santa Claus? <laughs> Don't laugh, Danny. A former delinquent shouldn't be disillusioned. Could make him a neurotic. So I repeat, on behalf of my constituents, where is Santa Claus? <laughs> oh, he'll be here in a minute, Marty. Sergeant Tartaglia... Oh, here he is. Come on in, Sergeant. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what This fun. guy's a sergeant? Huh? Hey, Tartaglia, this is uh, Marty Wednick. He wants Santa Claus. Oh, he's coming, Danny. He's coming. Come on in, Sandy. Everybody, make way, everybody, oh, for Santa Claus. Oh, ha, ha, ha. And what's your alias li- uh, uh, name, little boy? Ho, ho, ha. Hey. This guy's a Santa Claus. Who's the kid? The punk, Danny. Who is he? Marty Wednick, that's who I am. So you're Santa Claus, huh? <laughs> Audition me something. What? Why, you crummy Take little... Take your hands off me, Santa Claus. Is this the Christmas spirit? I'll give it to you in the mouth, fresh kid. You and how many reindeer? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, you two. Marty, this is Nick Norman. Nick Norman, the ex-con? How do you like this monster? For 15 years, I've been playing Sandy Claus at Sing Sing with no complaints, mind you. The first day I am a free civilian playing me old part, the squirt gives me the hook. I resign from Sandy Claus. I didn't get treatment like this even from the guards. Well, take it easy, Nick. Marty didn't mean it, did you, Marty? How was I to know that Sandy Claus here was the world-famous light-fingered safe cracker? Ex-light-fingered, world-famous safe cracker, you. Well, does he meet with your approval, Marty? Well, the costume is sloppy, the beard's moth-eaten, but... Yeah, he'll do. Don't do me no favors, punk. You want to know something, Nick? What's something? I like you. I think you are the best Sandy Claus it has ever been my privilege to present to my constituents of the PAL. This is from the heart, Nick. Oh, that's better. You gotta show respect for Sandy Claus. What time's your party? Eight o'clock tonight. You'll be there? I'll be there. Well, so long, Danny. Sergeant, <laughs> Sandy Claus. See you at the party. Merry Christmas. That's a good kid. Appreciates the finer things. Feels good to be out, huh, Nick? Fifteen years is a long night without sleep, Danny. Yeah, feels good. And thanks for the job of Sandy Claus. I would miss it after all these years. The deal we made, that feels good too, huh? The de- oh, yeah, yeah, the deal, sure, Danny. I'll keep my promise to you. That's good. You won't forget what happened 15 years ago on Christmas Eve. How can I forget? It was like the day... I was all dressed up like Sandy Claus. I had a few idle hours, and right in front of me, there just happened to be an idle safe. So I cracked it. So, so I got caught. Uh-huh. Now, what are you going to do now, between now and 8 o'clock, the time the party starts? Walk the thoroughfares and wish everybody joyous tidings and pat kids on the head. And, and wish leave you... their mother's purses alone. Oh, dear. Danny, how can you talk to Sandy Claus that way? I promised you oh, that... sure you did. Hey, to Taglia. Uh, yeah, Danny. Tag along with Santa Claus. Fresh air will do you both good. Oh, gee, thanks, Danny, thanks. You know the fresh air will do us both good. Yeah, but hold his hand, to Taglia, so he won't get lost. We don't want him to get lost, do we? Oh, no, Danny. No, because what's Christmas without Santa Claus? Have fun, boys. <laughs> 
So everybody was happy, and that was good because it.